I'm Bernard Hervé, uh, the director and co-creator of uh, Festival Musique et Vin, Clos Rougeau. Musique et Vin is unique in many ways. First, it was created out of friendship between America and Burgundy around la musique et le vin. Hello, I'm David Chan. I'm a violinist and conductor. I'm concertmaster of the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. And I'm connected with the Festival Musique et Vin Clos Vougeot because I was one of the co-founders in 2008 and have been the festival's artistic director since the beginning. I'm Leah Hawkins and I'm an opera singer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I am currently a young artist in the Lindemann Young Artist Development Program at the Metropolitan Opera where I just finished my first season. Hi, I'm Pierre Genisson. I'm a clarinet player, a soloist. Uh, I live in Paris currently and um, I used to be a young talent of the Festival Music and Wine in 2011. It's been amazing for me. Uh, I found that often as singers we don't get to connect with people in the pit. So it's been really great to work with people up close and to sort of feel each other up close and without a conductor, with a conductor also, but sort of without as well. And it's been amazing to watch a lot of um, music making happen and a lot of instrumental music making happen because I don't think I watch enough uh, as an opera singer. I think I focus on the singing quite a bit more. So that's been amazing and to see such amazing players from all over the world. The very first time I came here was in 2011. I can tell that this festival is definitely one of the greatest opportunities that it happened in my life. I remember I was 24, uh, I was finishing Paris Conservatory and this festival is like a, a family for me now. That's why I, I don't want to, to miss any edition. Uh, no matter if I'm on the other side of the world, before or after, I know that at the end of June, I'm here with you guys and I'm playing and enjoying wine and all of music. You know what, the, the wine for me was something very, very new also. And um, I made my education of wine here and I couldn't find any better place for that. That's very true. Has this been a wine education for you as well, Leo? Oh, certainly. I know nothing about wine. I don't know that I know much more now, but <laughs> I know more than I did when I arrived. Having had a chance to observe the festival as a whole, is this a place you would want to come back to? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if, if for no other reason than the people who come to this place. Yeah. The connections that I've made with the, with the attendees. And then Burgundy is just gorgeous. Every day I feel like I'm in a movie. The festival has developed an instrumental form of string instruments created by the best French and European luthier. Each instrument is marked with the name of the luthier, the name of its sponsor, together with one of the 33 Grand Cru of Bourgogne. All this is made year after year by the great generosity of our patrons, partners, and all the domains of Burgundy, whom I would like to thank earthfully on behalf of the festival team.